you're a PC gamer, you're looking for the best TV for gaming. What is the best 2023 TV for PC gamers? Today, we go over that list. From the most expensive, most awesome, to the most affordable, we are going to cover it all. Now, if you are a console gamer, don't worry, these TVs will work just as well for you. But PC gamers are a unique breed. We're talking the widest VRR ranges, from less than 20 hertz all the way up to 144 hertz support, G-Sync compatibility, FreeSync Premium Pro, HDR10 Plus Gaming. Wait, what's that? Is that new? For NVIDIA GPU owners, yes it is. Without further ado, let's jump into the best 2023 TVs for PC gamers. Speaking of PC gaming, let me introduce today's sponsor, WhoKeys. Yep, you just finished your big old PC Windows build. You have the best of the best, and sadly, you have less than $20 to your name. WhoKeys to the rescue. Use my code SF20 and immediate discount. Let's quickly go through the activation process after you've purchased Windows 10 on WhoKeys. Go to your WhoKeys account and select My Purchased Orders. See your order? To the far right, click on the button that says View Keys Codes to see the Windows CD code. At the bottom of this order where it says Code Card, to the right is the product key you need to activate Windows. So copy this long number, then go to the Windows menu and click on Settings. In the Settings menu, at the bottom, select update and security select activation then select change product key paste what you copied from who keys click next click activate and you're done you can download the windows 10 pro key and you're up and running but that's not all folks who keys has keys for games too steam origin you play, you name it, you got it. Check out their sites. There are discounts for all sorts of stuff. And most importantly, you want to be productive? What about Office Suite? Yep, you can download a copy of Office Professional with my code SF20 at checkout and bam. All right, let's get into it. All these TVs have three things in common that earn them a place on this list as best PC gaming TVs of 2023. Namely, they have the widest VRR range. Some go from under 20 hertz all the way up to 144 hertz support. They also all have G-Sync compatibility and FreeSync Premium certification, although some have FreeSync Premium Pro. Now, I do have a chart listing all these features that you might want to look through at a later date. And of course, I put links there for you to check out the best deals on these TVs. And I did list the TVs on this chart from top to bottom, top being the best, bottom being the most affordable. I'm going to start with the most premium TVs. These TVs have all the features on the checklist. 20 hertz to 144 hertz capability, VRR range, and FreeSync Premium Pro and G-Sync compatible. And their HDR format includes the latest one, HDR10 Plus Gaming. This one's really cool for PC gamers because if you have an NVIDIA card, either a 1600 series, a 2000 series, 300 series, or the current 4000 series, you can take advantage of HDR10 Plus Gaming because NVIDIA is now certified for that and it's game engine driven dynamic tone mapping. It takes the burden off your TV tone map and puts it on the game engine. This is unique and one game has already been announced to support it. That's Nexon's first descendant with more games to be announced later. Very similar to Dolby Vision with one big difference. HDR10 Plus Gaming is supported by the GPU, in this case Nvidia. Hopefully AMD will support it soon, but GPU side, game engine side and the TV side. So it's end to end support for dynamic tone mapping. Dolby Vision Gaming right now, I don't see it have any GPU support per se. I think it's a static metadata filter, but that's just me. And the only TVs that have HDR10 plus gaming compliant capability are Samsung TVs listed here and the Hisense U7K and U8K. So with that, let's jump into the TVs that have the most support for the most formats. And that would be the S90C. I know, not the S95C, the S90C. Because S90C and S95C image quality is so similar. S95C, some argue, might be slightly brighter if you break out the meters. But the reality is, because the S90C does not have the one connect box, you are assured the 4K 144 runs properly on the S95C. 
some are saying that the One Connect box is creating issues for 4K 144 connection, possibly dropouts, who knows, but why take the risk, especially if you're paying a premium. So if you're just going to game on this TV, right, I suggest you consider the S90C. Now keep in mind another reason why these TVs are on the top of the list is because they are self-emissive OLED TVs, QD OLED to be specific. It offers the best contrast, the best latency, the image quality is just superb. So if this is your budget, definitely consider QD OLED TVs, specifically the Samsung TVs with all these features. But if you are afraid of OLED for whatever reason, oh, burn-in or lifetime brightness, any of that, you can consider these LCD TVs, which share the same specs as the S90C and S95C, and that is the Samsung Q900C 8K TV and the Q95C 4K TV and the QN90C at the 43 inch and the 50 inch sizes. These three TV models are not OLED TVs, but they share the same spec. Namely, they go up to 144 Hertz VRR, G-Sync compatible, and most importantly, FreeSync Premium Pro. Because they're LCD TVs, they will benefit most from FreeSync Premium Pro because they should have better image quality when VRR is enabled. And additionally, they also have HDR10 plus gaming support, but because they are Samsung TVs, no, no Dolby Vision. But before we jump into the next set of TVs, quick reminder, two of these TVs on this list today will be at the 2023 TV shootout, namely the Samsung S95C and the LG G3. I put the playlist of the live stream up here. We will have coverage from September 27th all the way through the end of the shootout on October 1st. That's almost a week of kings of TV coverage. The best TVs in 2023, including two phenomenal gaming TVs. Next up are flagship WOLED TVs from LG. Now, they don't have VRR range as high as the last set of TVs. They go up to 120 hertz, but they have G-Sync support and they have FreeSync Premium support, which should be fine because they're OLED, but Premium should be okay with these TVs. But keep in mind the differences between the G3, C3, and B3. The G3 has the MLA technology, which makes the LG OLED, W OLED, the brightest OLED ever made by LG. But that MLA is limited to the 55, 65, and 77 inches. 83 inch is more similar to the C3 but the C3 comes in many sizes, 42, 48, 55, 65, 77, 83 inches. And if you want to spring for the 97 inch G2, that's available too. And of course, all the LGs do have Dolby Vision gaming support, but I have my doubts whether that's necessary. Don't make that a deciding factor when buying any of these TVs, in my opinion. Additionally, many of you are asking, wait, well, what about the C3 and B3? The C3 and B3 are very similar. The B3 slightly dimmer in some scenes, but for gaming, they should be pretty close. So these groups of TVs, from the QD OLEDs from Samsung to the Neo QLEDs from Samsung to the LG OLEDs, probably the best TVs out there. The next one up, which comes very close in terms of brightness and performance, I would say would be the TCL QM8. It has support from 20 Hertz all the way up to 144 Hertz. With FreeSync Premium Pro compatibility and G-Sync compatibility, but not specifically HDR formats like HDR10 Plus Gaming or Adobe Vision Gaming, but everything else is there. But again, they do lack 4K 120, 444 Chroma support. So if that's important to you, then you might want to go to the next one on the list, which are all the other Samsung QLED TVs and Neo QLED TVs. We're talking the Q800C, Q900C, above 50 inches, right? 55, 65, 75, and 85 inches. The Q85C, the Q80C, and the Q70C. They all have support up to 120 hertz. FreeSync Premium Pro, G-Sync compatibility, and HDR10 Plus Gaming, but of course, Samsung, no Dolby Vision. And keep in mind, some sizes might not have all the features. For example, Q80C 50 inch only goes up to 60 hertz. That's not a gaming TV. But again, check out my chart to review some of these specs. Maybe the most exciting one on this list is 
the 98 inch Q80C with the support up to 120Hz and HDR10 Plus gaming. This could be the gaming TV to get at the 98 inch size, but let's say you want to save money. Well, let's drop down to the last batch, the budget PC gaming TVs. That would be the Q7, the Hisense U8K, and the Hisense U7K. Now what's interesting is the difference between the TCL QM8 Q7 and the Hisense U8K and U7K is this. The Hisense U8K and U7K, their VRR range starts at 48 hertz and goes up to 144, but they have support for both Dolby Vision Gaming and HDR10 Plus Gaming, whereas the TCL TVs have a wider VR range of 20 hertz up to 144, but don't have support for those HDR gaming formats and also lack 4K120, 444 Chroma, whereas the Hisense does support 4K120, 444 Chroma. So these are minor details. Maybe it's just price, right? With the Q7 being the least expensive in this group, that could be the budget TV for you regardless. Now, if you have any questions about this list, let me know in the comments below. Am I missing a TV? Are you considering a TV for PC gaming? And if you are a console gamer, again, you cannot go wrong with any of these TVs. In the meantime, don't forget to check out the 2023 TV Shootout coming up later this month.